what's going on everyone in this video i'm going to be showing you guys the best training uh routines to do in Kovax for valorant for those of you who do not want to watch the entire 10 minute video the every single drill is going to be listed in the description below as well as the timestamps for the individual activity if you guys want to go ahead and just see that particular one with uh examples of how to do it and um the best training methodology for it i guess for those of you that are interested, please go ahead and stay watching the video. But before we do, just wanted to let you guys know that I stream every single day from 7 p.m. to 12 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. And if you're interested, it's in the description below. So if you're going to go down, down there to click on the, you know, uh, the timestamps, might as well just click on my pages, you know, my Instagram, my Twitter and my Twitch and just, you know, follow your boy Dan. Anyways, thank you so much for your time and let's go ahead and get started with the video. Okay guys, so before we start, I just wanted to let you guys know that this, all of the drills that I, um, that I put down are going to be really precision intense. So we're going to work on our precision only because, and micro adjustments only because this game focuses a lot on your crosshair placement and adjusting your crosshair from where it is to where the other person's head is. And it's usually not too far away and the heads are usually kind of small. So you want to remember that. Um, that's pretty much the only thing I want to say. So let's go ahead and get started with the thin gauntlet, which is our first one. This is the only tracking exercise on this list. And it's there. It's pretty much a small target that moves relatively slow. And you're going to be working on your mouse aim to just follow it. And you're going to do this for about two to three minutes. Um, yeah, you're going to do this for about two to three minutes. And this should be your warm up. Okay guys, so we're, we're in our second training drill. It's called one wall, two targets, small flicks, but without the time bullshit. Don't worry, the name is all gonna be there the way that um, Kovacs wants it to be. So you can just copy and paste it and save it for later. So what we're gonna do is there are gonna be two targets. The first one is gonna be where our crosser is. The second one is gonna be where the opponent's head is. What you wanna do is start off slow and work your way there creating perfect straight lines. You're going to do this for about five to 10 minutes, depending on your time. All the ones that you do after the warm up are about five to 10 minutes. And again, very slow, very precise. You want to work on precision and you want to focus on going from big to small. Whatever the big one is, you go to the small one. That way it's a little bit harder and you're working extra hard on your flicks instead of just like going from this really small one to this big one. You know what I'm saying? Like you don't want that. At a certain point, you're going to feel extremely comfortable to go like that. You know what I'm saying? like go a little bit faster and you can, if you want, you know, it just, you just have to make sure that you're actually hitting it and that you're getting your training done accurately and effectively. So remember that this is the second training drill. Let's go ahead and go to our third. Cool. Okay. So our third one is called Valorant small flicks. And it reminds me of the, of the training area that we have in Valorant. And what this is, is pretty much, this is one head. That's another head, or think of this as your crosser where it is and where the head is on the other side. So what you want to do is start off on one and then go to the second one, right? And then we're going to reset, start off on the other, work your way to the second one. What the fuck? Start off on this one and then work your way to the other one. Always try to go slow because you don't want to go like too. Okay. That one worked, but you don't want to go too fast. You don't want to go like that. Okay. Can I, can I not hit it? Like you don't want to go like that. You know what I'm saying? You want to go whoops. Okay. So you don't want to go super fast. You want to go slowly and work on your precision. If they're close like this and you feel comfortable, hit those, hit those, you know what I'm saying? But if they're extremely far like these two and you don't think you can hit it, work slow, get that muscle memory in, you know? And like I said before, go from big to small, big to small. And that that's going to make you be a better aimer in general. If you constantly make it harder for yourself. And remember, focus on creating the most straight possible, like the, the straightest lines possible. And also what I did there, you don't want to do. So you don't want to go like this and this and this and this, you know, because you're not all you're working is like click timing. You're not working on actual like learning distances and things, which is what's important. You want to do individual two. And then once you pick two and then once you pick two, you know what I'm saying? You want to work on. On doing two by two. Our fourth one is actually an interesting one. It's called Pokeball Frenzy Auto Small. Let me remove that. And what this does is you're going to hold on to your left click, right? You're not going to let go of it. And you're going to create straight lines 
from one Pokeball to another. One Pokeball to another. And again, this is very important with the whole straight line creation. You want it to be as straight as possible. And you can go slow to make sure you have extra precision. Super slow, one to another. And you can go as slow as you want to go. But keep holding on to the left click. Don't worry about your accuracy. It's going to be shit. The whole point of this is to build form, not to get accuracy uh, points, not to get accuracy points. To go slow, build accuracy, not to get the points. And you're going to do this again. All of these five to ten minutes. Focus on creating straight lines and holding left click. So, yeah, let's go ahead and go to the next one. So right now, this one's one wall, five targets, Pasu. And you know what? This one's pretty good. I'm not going to lie. Um, it, it, it helps you shoot uh, moving targets. You can also do a another version of this, which is one wall, five targets, Pasu small, which is the one that I use. Um, and it helps you get a lot better at hitting these moving targets. If you have issues with them, I'm going to give you some pro tips to getting better. One, don't spam. Like, don't go like this. Like, if you miss your first shot, don't, don't, don't start spamming around it to try to hit it. What you want to do is you want to just try to follow it, track it for a little bit, and then hit it. It's going to, you're going to feel a lot more comfortable later on doing it. So you're going to track it and then hit it, track it, and then hit it. Um, you can also switch to two. If you press two, you switch to what's the track master. So it's like an SMG, like a slow shooting SMG, and you can kind of track it. And you can get used to the moving targets but uh, honestly i would just press one and, and, and get used to hitting moving objects uh, as you're moving with your one shot pistol or whatever uh let's just call it the deeg however like i said if this is too easy you can just go to one one wall five targets pasu where the fuck is this small it's not here well just put underscore small oh here it is And it's the same thing, but smaller. Um, also, you want to make sure you're not waiting for it ahead. You're not you're not preemptively like placing your crosshair where it's going to be and then clicking it. You know, you're going to be you want to follow it. Be right behind it and then click it. You know, don't spam click either. So, yeah, that's pretty much this one. Let's go ahead and go to our last one. Bounce 180 or bounce 180, whatever you want to call it, whatever the cool kids call it. So what you want to do is you want to hit it on the apex of the jump. And so this is another moving object one. So you want to hit it as soon as it gets to the highest point, And then you're going to switch. You know what I'm saying? Hit it as soon as it gets to the highest point. Broom, broom. Hit it. Hit it. You know? You don't want to spam click on this one either. But you, you kind of just want to gain precision. Feel comfortable hitting these moving objects. Um... And sometimes they're tricky because they'll, they'll move like they'll be moving this way and then it'll move backwards. I don't know. It does some weird shit. It'll try to strafe you midair. Um, so, yeah, remember that the same rules apply for this one. One shots. If you miss it, switch to another one. It's the kind of rule that I like to, to go by. That way it, it, it kind of like it makes it harder for you to spam click because of the whole um, once you hit it, like if you miss, switch to another one. If you miss, switch to another one, you know. It just makes it harder and that's what you want you want difficulty in your training so yeah guys that's about it that's all six of them how to do them effectively when to do them and how long to do them i hope you guys enjoyed the video if you did please go ahead and hit that like button let me know which one is your favorite exercise and if you have any other ones that are really good that i missed out on please go ahead and write them below i would love to learn new um i would love to learn new training exercises that I can do to increase my uh, aim and get better at the game just like you guys. So please go ahead and do that. And if you can, hit the sub button, boys. You know it always helps me, helps every YouTuber. But you know, since I'm your favorite YouTuber, you should might as well do it. I'm just saying. Anyways, boys, I hope you guys enjoyed and I will see you guys and girls. I will see you guys next video. Deuces. You can't just like... Oh, yeah, they're in. I've, I've been in. I hear some mid. They're A. Okay, that worked out. Damn. I can't believe that worked out. Holy shit, that was Damn. so lucky. I don't know what I was doing there, bro. <laughs> it worked!
One's coming from B. Yeah. 